What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Different, and welcome to Difference World. And for today's vlog, it's going to be our second travel vlog, uh, My Adventures in the Bahamas. When did I go to the Bahamas? I went back in October 2016, so... Uh, about six years ago. <laughs> yeah, this year, six years ago. Uh, wow. Um, so, <laughs> when you guys are looking at these pictures and back at these videos, um, excuse me, not six years ago, five years ago, um, just be mindful that they were five years ago. So, of course, some things have changed. My face is a little fuller, a little meatier. Uh, <laughs> but don't worry, I'm working on it. Okay, I'm back at it. Um, but enjoy my video clip of me to uh, going to the Bahamas. It actually started out as a um, travel agent convention. This is how I started my travel um, adventures um, as a travel agent. <clears throat> and I was um, in a convention. And on my second day, I just said, mm, fuck that shit. <laughs> I can't take it no more. I'm going out to enjoy the Bahamas and not being stuck in no uh, convention and learning about how to sell travel. And so I just politely and respectfully but firmly just dipped up out of there. And... Um, <clears throat> enjoyed, you know, myself for my remaining time that I had in the Bahamas. And I got a chance to go to Fort Finn Castle, uh, Love Beach, uh, did a Junkanoo Fest. So I got the, uh, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I got the opportunity to participate in a Junkanoo Fest parade. So that was pretty cool. Uh, I got to see a fire dancer. What else did I do? I went to Atlantis. Uh, you know what? Enough of me explaining it. Check out my video and then I'll come back on and we'll talk more. All right? Check it out. Portier Bridge on the way back to the Atlantis. Early in the morning. Just did a nice little run. Okay. Good out here. Okay, we're in the Atlantis Aquarium Tour. That is so cute! Okay. Back this way? Okay. Oh my gosh, those are some big eels. I'd be scared to get caught up in there. And you say your guys clean it out every day? And they're not scared? I'd be scared. As you can see right there, he's actually the first black NASCAR race driver. Lewis Hamilton. He's Formula cute. One race, yes he is. Look at this crybaby right here. Ah, so they say. <laughs> <laughs> I like him, he's still cool. Here we have the collection of Robinson Crusoe books. Okay. Those are chocolate boxes that date from the 1930s. Wow. You guys got money in this museum. Um, you just don't even know it. <laughs> you know, the, in Houston, not Houston, uh, in Washington, they just opened uh, a new museum for African American history. Uh -huh. You got money. 
Here but we thank have you. our fire drum. Um, here we have in the back of you. Uh oh, what's up, Jack? <laughs> a mural that was created so that you can actually see mm -hmm. black bear here. It's the most notorious was the most notorious. Oh, snaps. I may pay, have a little Anna and Mary in me then. <laughs> and then we have Calico Chunk. Yeah. Okay. And Queen in the middle, we have Queen of the Turban. Oh, it's about that was, yeah, that was Black, Black Bear's book. Oh, sniggity snaps. And is that their pirate's chest? Yes, it is. Oh, okay. On the wall, we have boots. These boots could have belonged to privateers or they could have belonged to pirates. They were taught because it would protect their feet mm -hmm. from being wet and also protect them very high. Now, as you know, most of the cannons were always powered and weapons were powered by gunpowder. Gun powder. So, gun, this, this keg is actually wrapped in leather and the gunpowder was stored on the inside for two reasons. It kept it warm, mm -hmm. one, and it stopped it from being, from being wet mm -hmm. if the boat was hot or sunny. Okay, so it would still be the rule, you know, pirates like buckles. Yeah. So, here we have. Or you need buckle. Black persons with the black faces painted on them. Mm -hmm. Okay. In the Bahamas, segregation was very real because down the street we have a church known as Methodist Church. Uh huh. And actually, this church has a Methodist for black persons and white persons. Mm -hmm. And the sign is still up to the present day. You notice throughout the carrier, you see the word R to M. Mm -hmm. It's also still pronounced as rum. And these were actually bottles. Um, this is the way that they bottle their rum in Martinique. And as we know, Martinique is French speaking. Mm -hmm. So that is the pronunciation and the spelling of it R H. M, but it is still pronounced rum. Mm. Very yeah, informative. Uh oh, they go to king and the queen. Yeah, this is where we came from, and this is where we are now. Mm. Where blacks have actually made a name for themselves international. Yeah, yeah, yeah. International. Here, here's some NASA. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's freaking dark down here. Look at this. Here's another carrier bean.
view of the island for those who have never been here before. This is a great place. Despite all the trees, are they just have to look right here. Oh, look at the Liz Lentis. This one's day. I'm going to take a little hotel. visiting an actual castle. It's legit out here. Oh, look at that. It's scary though. Check out this what they have here. Look at the light on.
What's up everybody? I'm back. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my video of my trip to the Bahamas and my adventures there. Um, <laughs> I just looked at it with y'all and um, brings back so many memories. I'm sorry for all the screaming if you guys seen uh, me at the Jungle Doom Fest. I was a little tipsy, so blame it on alcohol, if you will. But um, that was my adventures back in October 2016. I had so much fun. That trip was the uh, turning point trip for me because beforehand I was just doing these trips as opposed to like a travel agent and not just really traveling and enjoying being in a different country and immersed in the culture. So this trip right here <clears throat> is where I, I officially define myself as a traveler and, and, and wasn't going to be just a travel agent that wasn't me. Um, I actually got roped into it. I don't want to say a pyramid scheme because um, it's actually a good, uh, um, it has good benefits, but it's just basically another pyramid uh, climb, but it's not a scheme sort of thing. It's, it's legit. It's just another pyramid, if that's the way you want to put it, but it wasn't for me. And so this is where it came. And so my message for people out there who are stuck in a job they are not happy with and they know that they're meant to have a better job or be their own boss, uh, now's the time to do that. So go for yours, man, just like I went for mine. And I promise you, you won't regret it. Um, it's just a, an exciting feeling when you just do something that you love and you don't worry about the money, you don't worry about the people, you don't worry about the fame. It'll come to you. When you do what you love and something that you're passionate about, the money, the right people, and all that you want, it will come to you when you just do something that you love and you're passionate about. And so that's my message for anybody out there that's listening to this video and that's <laughs> being amazed by, you know, all, you know, my travel excursions and adventures and what I'm doing, you know, take a look at my, my life and you see that's motivation to get inspired to, you know, live your best life and reach your highest potential. And with that being said, <clears throat> once you do that, you comment, like, subscribe, and share this video. You head on over to my website and you get your copy of my new book, Dun, da, da, da. What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift, a book that was written to enforce current dark <laughs> provoking conversations about injustice and systemic racism in America. Through graphic but provocative illustrations, it provides details on controversial deaths and events that have occurred in America within the African American community. And it does I do this through four main paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical. Again, please be advised that this is a grown folks only book, so if you can't take this type of heat, then don't bother coming to this kitchen. <clears throat> so with that being said, um, also you guys, even though, you know, just a quick disclaimer, this is different world when you come to my YouTube channel, you see my videos, this is my life, this is how I live it, but I also want to, you know, know about you guys and share your story. So be sure to, when you comment, leave a, you know, suggestions on what you guys want to see me post next, what one of my travel ventures or what type of topic you want to talk about in regards to bringing social awareness or what type of, you know, trending topics that you guys want to talk about in regards to pop culture. Um, we do it all here at Third Eye Entertainment. You know, like I said, we try to bring you guys social awareness to society through our products and services in which we try to educate, inspire, and entertain you guys all at once. So again, make sure you guys, you know, when you come into my world, you share, you interact with me, I interact with you. Tell me why, tell me, <coughs> tell me what you guys want me to talk about, what you want to post or <clears throat> whatever. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, guys, I need some water. But with that being said, I'm not going to hold you guys up any much longer. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget whatever it is in life that you want, you have to manifest, plan, and prepare for it, and then it will surely come to you. Difference well, come and learn. Peace. What if? What if in 1619 Africans started dealing in slaves trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift? It's a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America. Through graphic but provocative illustration, What If provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts. 
historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical. What If? A Controversial Paradigm Shift by Author Different. Illustrations by Anastasia Arnold. Coming August 2021. Go to differenceworld.net.